M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So if you look in the in the image there, you've got the Bofeng um, 1702, and next to it you've got a jumbo hotspot, okay? So this whole setup, if you buy it sensibly, you could get this setup for under £100. It will allow you to use the DMR system, which cross modes to definitely to fusion and other modes. And also, this radio is VHF, UHF, so you can access normal analog repeaters, so your local repeater, uh, and lots more. Um, so let's have a quick look at the what I recommend, how I recommend you go about this. The first thing I would do is get on to uh, a place like eBay and buy. Uh, this is the radio that I bought, uh, Bofeng 1702, 39 pound, delivered in the UK, which is an absolute bargain. Um, and this is a VHF, UHF and DMR radio with GPS built in. So that's that. That's £40 spent there. Next thing you're going to need is uh, you need to get yourself an MMD VM hotspot. Now, I find that the cheapest way to do this is, is eBay and get it from China. I know a lot of people say they don't work from China, but I have bought five from China and they work great. And sometimes they'll come even that you, I've had these for 16, 17 pound if you keep looking. So, yeah, so you get yourself an MMDVM hat like this. And if you look, uh, all you've really got to do is solder the antenna on. The rest sort of slots in together. Um, sometimes you have to solder some G, these sort of black pins that you can see on the right. But generally, I found that it's only the antenna you need to really solder. And this one comes with the OLED screen. Uh, which is excellent. So that's why it's worth paying a bit extra, £22, to get one with an OLED screen. Okay, once you've got that, uh, dig out one of your old SD cards. You should have one of them lying around, micro SD cards. You're going to need that. So hopefully you've got that. Then, instead of buying the Pi, everyone puts these on Pi Zeros, but Pi Zeros have actually become quite expensive. You're much better off going for a Raspberry Pi 3B. So there's one here. It's much faster, and also you can set it up by plugging it into the Ethernet if you want. And look at this one here on Amazon for £33. Uh, and I've seen these go, yeah, even second hour. I mean, this is a good price, but second hour they tend to go for, uh, you know, they tend to go for between 25 and 30 but well worth it. And they've got built-in Wi-Fi. So you want Raspberry Pi 3B with built-in Wi-Fi. So just get Model B Plus, and it will have the Wi-Fi. There you go. And then to configure it, um, this isn't a configuration video. Everything you need is on the PyStar website. I'll put the link in. You download the, the image and you load the image onto your SD card, which is going to run everything. So what you end up having is once it's all up and running, you end up with a dashboard like this. And I've connected this to, uh, to DMR. So what we'll do, we'll have a quick look at the, at the radio. Let's have a quick look. One sec. So here we are. If you look at the setup, we've got the on here. We've got GB3FI coming in on the B section, and on the A section, we've got our hotspot. Uh, no activity on the hotspot at the moment, um, but um, you can see that you've got the hotspot running here. It says DMR, and uh, it says there slot two. It does say it's active. So let's just see if we can go to the A section. This is a dual band radio, so we'll go to the A. Let's just change this frequency because it will only this radio will only receive one at a time. And then we go, we just see it. There you go, got some digital coming in there. M3, I think it was. But one thing I'll say about these budget DMR radios when you turn them right down low, they seem to still have some volume, but they're very loud. They're definitely very loud. Just waiting for someone to actually s key up and actually speak. So you've basically got your whole setup there. So, uh, you know, let me know what you think. It's going to be about £60 for the hotspot maximum and the MMDVM board. £40 for the radio is £100. You've got a full digital setup. And there are uh, talk groups that go to things like Hubnet. Uh, I know there's one there for America Link. I mean, there's all sorts. Uh, you just got to uh, find these crossings. So DMR is actually a very cheap way into the digital world of radio. So give it a go. Let me know what you think. 7-3, all the best.